Hey there, Aquarius. Uh, welcome to your reading for um, uh, October. I almost just said September uh, 2024. We're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this Imagine card and this Peace card. Uh, I do feel like you, you know, it's on wrong camera as well. I'm a mess today. But uh, I feel that you need to imagine your life as you want it to be with that Imagine card. It's a very good card. Uh, I kind of feel the Peace card is just saying it's going to be a peaceful a month for you like there's maybe you're just kind of you know in in the flow or you're just in the energy again i we're getting very close to uh pluto re-entering your sign in november and um you know i i really feel this is going to be good for you i think most people think pluto is a, a challenging energy and there's no doubt about it for cap you know it has been uh very challenging for capricorn i believe but um for you i feel as long as you work with the energy uh, that it will be a very good time for you. So, um, you know, it won't necessarily be easy. I think things are going to um, probably require work, you know, f for them to work, whatever it is that you are working on. But if you put in the work, I think that's what's going to uh, bring in a lot of peace for you into your life. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Justice card. Uh, Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes a dream work. Uh, that's step number one for Pluto and Aquarius is the collective. So anything you can do to benefit the collective or work together with other people, uh, that's going to expand the energy. And that would also be working with the energy as well. So, you know, great time for you for collaboration, um, teamwork, all that other stuff. And, you know, uh, this could be people uh, also working together with other people um, in a supportive role, as in they're supporting you. Um, you know, this would be you. Like, he has done the good job, uh, but these people have supported him. And again, it's like when we have people, I don't think people realize, like, how like how good it is uh, to have people who help you because it's like they become part of your success which makes them feel successful and it lifts them up as well and you know Pluto and Aquarius is going to be all about that it's like allowing people to support you um, so that they can also be a winner right so that they can be part of kind of like a winning team and you know I think that's going to be very important uh, step number two for uh, Pluto and Aquarius is inspiration. Uh, I feel that a lot of you could be feeling inspired to do this, that, and the other thing. Uh, Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new, but the Ace of Wands is kind of like that spark of hope or that spark of inspiration. And whatever that uh, inspiration is, you need to move towards it and create it on earth. Like whatever you feel, whatever it is that you feel inspired to do doesn't even matter. We literally have the world right here. It's, it's saying that you need to uh, create your inspirations here on earth. And Ten of Pentacles would also be like building and leaving a legacy. So you could be building something on earth that becomes part of your legacy. And again, I think step number two is for Aquarius, who put on Aquarius, is inspiring other people. Uh, you have the Justice card. Uh, justice, of course, is about doing things in balance. We go up to the Temperance card, which is also a card of balance. So I kind of feel that these two cards are just saying, uh, make sure that you are doing everything in your life in balance. And if as long as you do that, then you won't be out of balance and you'll be fine. Uh, here you go. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card. Again, do things in balance. It's coming up in the same row as the Justice card. The, the uh, Three of Pentacles of the Temperance card can also say that if you're working on projects, businesses, ideas, plans for your life, that other people might be able to help you transform uh, whatever it is. So like, let's say you have a business and it hasn't been working. You know, there could be other people that you can learn from. You don't even have to hire these people. It could just be people that you take inspiration from as well. Like if there are people who inspire you, learning from those people could help you transform the thing that it is that you're doing and that could make you more successful. So I would, and, and same thing in love as well. It's like, you know, maybe you want love. Uh, this could be you getting inspiration from, you know, a positive couple or, you know, whatever the, the, the case may be. And it could be inspiring you uh, to create something more successful. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the King of Wands. So the this would say that you really need to grab onto that wand. You know, the King of Wands, he also only has one wand. And he's grabbing onto that wand. And he is being bold and assertive and confident and really making something happen. So I kind of feel like this is you uh, just making something happen in the world. Like you're grabbing onto the wand. I do also feel that you could be attracting love. Um, you know, if you want love right here. Uh, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, Fire sign. Uh, that's coming in for you. It could be any sign. It could also just be a person that you see as bold, assertive, confident, you know, all that other stuff. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, probably trying to do too much. Again, I think that um, you working together with other people uh, could help you put some of these burdens down. 
I do like the Ten of Wands. I mean, he is almost about to have his harvest. His home is right here. So if you have been doing a lot of work, if you have been putting in the you know the hours at the office or whatever, then I do feel there could be a lot of abundance uh, coming in. You have the Ten of Pentacles in the next row. Uh, you know, the Ten of Wands kind of says you're very close. Uh, next, you have this Creator God card and this Earthly Focus card. This is coming up in the area of what's coming in for you. Uh, so the creator guard, you are definitely creating something. I mean, Ace of Wands and King of Wands, we, we've we barely even started the reading and you have two very powerful cards of creation. And so I feel for a lot of you, you are clearly creating something here on Earth. I think the Earthly Focus card is all about, um, you know, in this reading, uh, because you have the world in this row is saying that you are creating something amazing here on Earth. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire. It's building, leaving a legacy. So you could literally be building, leaving a legacy here on Earth. And, um, you know, that could be part of the work that you're doing here. And uh, again, I think, I also think you're focusing a vision in on Earth. It wouldn't surprise me if we had like the Hierophant show up as well. Um, you do have one card that's similar, this Imagine card, um, which I'm going to show you. You know, she is bringing the moon down to Earth. It's kind of hard to see, but she has a string wrapped around the moon here uh, with that earthly focus card in the world in the ten of pentacles uh, to me this says you know that you are focusing something into the world like you have a vision maybe it's a dream a goal a wish whatever and i feel like this energy is saying you're making it concrete you're taking the actions necessary uh, to build this ten of pentacles whatever your ten of pentacles is it could be love marriage family business whatever uh, you have the world uh, the world of course is an accomplishment so I do feel for a lot of you that you could be accomplishing something uh, this month of October. It seems to me like it could be something that gets you a lot of attention as well. So for those of you that are you know, working on projects, uh, you have the Three of Pentacles, which is receiving recognition for the work that you've done. Uh, you have this World card, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, just putting it all together. It wouldn't surprise me if some of you uh, were getting attention uh, for the work that you have done. Uh, you have the que Queen of Wands. I didn't even realize this. You have the King and Queen of Wands. So very passionate connection uh, that could be coming in for you. Definitely could be a fire sign. Again, if it's not a fire sign, I would say it's like a very fiery connection. Like you two might have a lot of desire for each other. You might not be able to keep your hands off each other. You know, it could definitely be that type of connection uh, that's coming in for you here. Um, you, ha you go up to the lovers, you know, here. Well, we go over the four wands, marriage. You go up to the lovers to the five of swords. Five of swords is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So this would tell me that this connection could be a little bit of a risk or um, that you are taking a risk to step into this connection. And by the way, if you want love, and even if you don't want love, I do feel the, the queen of wands, she is starting a journey and she doesn't know um, how it's going to go. She, she, you know, she is my card of learning as you go. So she has to learn as she goes along. And a lot of you, I feel, uh, could be learning as you go, uh, like, and this could be some sort of risk that you're taking. So if you're like starting a business, for example, you don't know wh how it's going to turn out. And the Queen of Wands says that, but the, the Five of Swords says in the good stuff, the risk will pay off. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this is like good news coming in for you here. Uh, you know, this could be communication with a person as well, uh, if you are interested in a specific person. Uh, but I also feel this could be good, you receiving good news. Uh, with the world, you have the lovers. Uh, this could be like a long distance connection going on here. It's like the temperance card might say that you have to be patient or they're, you know, with the world, you know, if this is a long distance connection, the temperance card would say, obviously, there would have to be some sort of transformation uh, for this to work. You, you you can't stay long distance. The other thing, I, I beg people on my hands and my knees, right? That's the only time you'll see me on my knees. That's what she said. But I beg people. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, anytime they bring up something about a long distance relationship, I always say you have to be super careful right now with anything that involves fantasy because we have Neptune and Pisces right now. And so I always tell people, again, if you're going to uh, start something uh, long distance, right, uh, that you need to like set a date. You need to, there needs to be something set in stone because Neptune and Pisces, the fantasy is way more attractive than the reality. And what happens is both people get caught up in the fantasy, then they don't want to meet because it's fantasy and it never happens, right? So I beg people, if you're going to do this right here, and uh, you know, I can't control what you do, obviously, but if you are, then I would be like, okay, this is fine, but we need to meet in, you know, within the next six months. And if we don't, we need to end it. And you need to stick to that. Um, because again, Neptune and Pisces is just like, will allow two people to talk all day long and they just like say all this stuff that never happens. I've seen it happen a million times uh, with, the, in, with Neptune and Pisces. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, 
You have the devil. Uh, the devil, of course, could represent toxic energy. I kind of feel like you could be attracting a Capricorn or a person who has like Capricorn in their chart somewhere uh, because there's a lot of Capricorn energy here. Um, you know, of course, whenever this, like, I don't think this is anything toxic or anything like that, but, you know, of course, with the devil showing up here, I would pay attention, right? Just because a tarot reader, I'm just some dude on the internet. You have no clue what, that I know what I'm talking about. Did that make sense? I don't know. Um, so you, I tell people all the time, you shouldn't be listening to me. You should be trusting the, the evidence of the situation. Situation. Obviously, if the person displays toxic traits, it doesn't matter how good this reading is, it's that you should avoid that person because they are toxic. If they're not toxic, then obviously that devil's just saying they could have Capricorn in their chart, right? Um, so pay attention. Here's the other thing that I would say with that devil card. The devil can represent create stuck creativity. Uh, these people, let's start here. Uh, these people have these animal horns on their heads, and it represents uh, their baser instincts. It basically represents uh, their root chakra energy. They need to take that creative idea and bring it up to their head and express it out into the world. So again, I think a lot of you um, outside of love, you have some sort of creative idea or there's like a new venture that you want to start. And this is basically saying you need to express it in the world. Literally what we said with the Ten of Pentacles in the world. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this blue heron. It says diplomacy, peacemaking, positive omen. So positive stuff coming in. You have this diving beetle card. It says slow movement, creative force, water element. So a lot of you, uh, more creativity with the diving beetle. It says creative force. So creativity is your ticket to success here, Aquarius. Uh, the blue heron though says positive omen. So you could be getting positive sign symbols, synchronicities around um, the things that you're thinking about diving into with this diving beetle card. Uh, the other thing that I kind of think of whenever we have water like this, you know, the temperance angel is standing out in, in this pool of water. And, and the temperance angel has one foot in, one foot out. And so maybe the diving beetle is actually saying, you need to dive in, you know, you need to go all the way. I've been kind of getting this message um, for, for several signs over the past few months that, you know, if we're going to do anything, we need to make that like 1000% commitment to it. Not, we can't just dip our toes in the water and try something. We need to like have a routine or do something um, to really make something happen. And I'm wondering, you know, I'm kind of wondering if that's what this is saying. It's like saying, if you're, if you want something in your life, go all in and you will have it. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> uh, you have the lovers. I, I kind of see this as two people uh, being mixed together. You know, it's like he's mixing these two cups together. And so I feel for a lot of you, it could be uh, kind of like attracting a really solid match here. Uh, I do feel like it's a little bit of risk, especially if it is going to be long distance or, you know, if you happen to know a person from a distance, from a distance or whatever, you know, the fool is saying you're going to be going on this journey, um, but you're, you're going to have to take a leap of faith to make this happen. It is, you know, and, and again, uh, long distance to me is a leap of faith because it's like, you know, you don't really know anything. <laughs> you know, it's like, you're not, people are very different. Like when you, when you live with them or, you know, when you spend more time with them. And that's the other problem with long distance. It's like people, it's easier for people to hide their, um, to hide things, right? Long distance. So again, I think that the fool is saying it definitely would be, um, you know, it would be kind of like a little bit of a risk. Again, the five of swords is kind of saying it would be worth the risk. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the 10 of swords. Uh, Ten of Swords about releasing the past. And didn't we say this to you at the beginning of this reading here? There was like something about, or maybe not, I could be wrong, but I definitely feel it could be time for you to let go of something from the past so that you can have something better. The Ten of Swords also with the um, Temperance card. You know, one thing I want to say is that this right here is the is the, called the path to glory and there's this glowing crown right here. And so sometimes I feel at a certain point we have to stop trying to make something perfect Sometimes I feel that the temperance card is standing there trying to perfect his uh, situation when he could just get started. He, you know, even though things aren't perfect, he could just start his journey on that path and get to his goal. And so I kind of feel that here. The Ten of Swords is like saying like, come on, it's time to get moving. Uh, with the lovers, you have the Two of Pentacles. Could be about love. Like maybe some of you may need to make a decision and, you know, going this way is amazing, but you have that Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles is the best love card in the deck, but the two of pentacles is going back and forth on something. So like some of you might be trying to decide like, do do you want love in your life or do you not want love? But I do feel um, this is kind of like saying, make the decision so that you can have it. And if you don't want it, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, but you know, again, I think there's something here about making the choice or making the decision to have something. Uh, with the fool, you have the strength card. 
Uh, two cards of patience here, temperance and this card right here. The strength card really says that you have developed the strength necessary uh, to be very successful. You know, what she is doing is a display of strength. People are seeing her uh, taming this lion, which is like crazy. Like who in the right mind would put their hands in a lion's mouth? And the answer is nobody. Uh, but we go, uh, you know, Three of Pentacles is also a display of success uh, because he has completed this job. You know, the Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. He has done a good job completing that, those Three Pentacles. And same thing, kind of similar with the Strength card. Like she has done a good job uh, taming her inner voice. So it's like people are seeing your strength. Uh, next, you have the, you can't make this up. You have this Moon Circles card. It says support. You clearly need support at this time or, you know, it would be a good time to tap into other people's um, energy to get help. Uh, you have this Moonstone card. It says slow it down. Um, so I actually feel like things are kind of speeding up here. Um, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune in the area of the good stuff would represent kind of like momentum pulling you in a certain direction. But definitely would be a good time to get help from other people. And again, I always like to remind people, like you don't have to hire people or anything like that or even ask for help. You know, this could represent like learning from someone on YouTube or something like that. Um, you know, that can be support. It could be um, getting an accountability partner in your life. You know, all, all those things would work with this ener energy. Uh, you have the Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. I feel like you're going to take the risk on something. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Whatever. I feel like you're going to take the risk on something that's going to pay off. So I, I, I just feel like saying, I really don't feel much here. You know, if I'm being honest, I, I just feel like you're going to take a risk and it's going to pay off. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune would represent fortunes turning in your favor or, um, you know, kind of finding success. It's also a great card of momentum, like building momentum in a direction. So a lot of you could notice that things are speeding up in your life or things are starting to happen faster, uh, which is great, especially if you've been waiting for things to happen. Uh, you also show up right here. Uh, so you show up in the top corner there. And uh, whenever you show up as yourself, it kind of puts you in a position of power and strength, and it really allows you to get what you want from the reading. Uh, you have the four wands. Uh, four wands, of course, could be marriage. So if you're looking for love, uh, this could be very, you know, very, this, this is a very solid love reading for you. Uh, if you don't want love, the Four of Wands is a card of freedom. And even if you do uh, want love, I feel a lot, I feel all of you uh, could be committing to freedom or committing to a new way of uh, creating freedom or having or being set free in your life. You know, the Four of Wands is about crossing through this portal here in the middle of the card uh, so that you can be set free. It's a card of completion. It can represent kind of like wrapping up one stage of your life or a project or whatever and getting to the next stage. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the two cards. You have the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this would be a positive change. It would say you're no longer focusing on what you don't have. The Nine of Cups is about being in alignment with everything that you want. So he is only focusing on exactly what he wants and therefore he is receiving it. And I also feel this could be like a wish. You could be taking a risk on a wish and this is the wish coming true. So uh, that looks amazing. You have that Imagine card at the beginning, which is kind of very similar. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Justice card, which you have twice in this reading. Again, the Justice card is about putting energy on one side of the scale. The Justice card with the Wheel of Fortune would say wherever you're putting your energy, that's what you're going to get back. So, you know, make sure to maintain positivity and make sure to focus on things that you want that you want at this time. Uh, with the Four of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands. Uh, you definitely could be attracting a connection that you uh, definitely want to protect. The Seven of Wands is a card of protection. The Seven of Wands is a card of um, putting up boundaries in your life as well. So I feel that for, I feel that for a lot of you. Uh, you, you, you know, again, if you are attracting love, this might be something that you do want to protect. Uh, you have this desk card. It says, pay attention to your work. So um, work looks really good. Money looks very good in this reading. Um, what I would say is I would make sure that you're taking the lead. I would make sure that you're getting attention for the things that you're doing. And I would make sure that you're being an inspiration to other people and also following other people, you know, allow other people's inspiration, like people who are inspiring you is what I'm trying to say here. Um, people who inspire you, allow them to inspire you um, and, you know, kind of follow your inspirations. Uh, you have this frying pan card that says trouble, accusations. I, I kind of feel like there's a, um, that this has come up for you before in the past that there could be a past person that needs to be cut out of your life. And so if there's a past person that needs to be cut out, cut out, cut them out. Uh, you have this stork. It says news of a birth or new business opportunity. Yeah, business looks really good here. So if you're starting anything new in work and business and career, uh, definitely a lot of success. Uh, you have this dogs. It says getting together with close friends. There you go. The whole entire reading says 
that socializing, being being with people you really care about, you know, all, all that stuff is going to be the most helpful for you. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying um, that, you know, again, being with other people, spending time with people, that's going to be very helpful. Uh, you have this yoke card. It says feeling tied down or frustrated. I feel like you need to set yourself free from the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands at the beginning of the reading is saying that you feel that you have to do too much to get something you want. And I, the Temperance card, going, we go up here to the, from Ten of Wands to the Temperance card. In this diagonal, I feel like it's saying you can transform uh, like how you think about what you have to do. It's like um, you, you can just gain a different uh, perspective or a new mindset. Again, I've been working with businesses for a very long time. And uh, it, it's funny to me how like I've worked in pretty much the same industries all along. And there will be some people who do things like the easy way. And there will be other people who will be like, oh, we have to do it this way because this is the right way. But it's really the hard way. And I always say to those people, why? It could be so much easier, right? And so that's kind of the energy I get here. Like don't get too attached to how you are um, you know, working on things, creating things in your life, because there's probably easier ways. Uh, but this looks very good. So love it. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.